Hey guys and welcome back to a studio update. This is actually gonna be like the last update before the reveal, which is exciting. So as you can tell, the walls are primed. I am getting ready to put some color on there. The ceiling is done. We just did white. the drywall everything's been primed again ceiling is painted so this door to refresh your memory or if you haven't seen our other my other video this goes up to our deck and then our backyard needs work everything needs some attention this spring but then this is my sewing studio all of this and there will be like if you can imagine like hanging doors here for a full wall. But yeah, so this will be kind of like the opening here. This will end up being a hallway with the faux doors on the left here, and then this is the entrance. And I'll kind of show you guys my plan. So this, obviously nothing here. I'm gonna put my Ikea desk here with my monitor mounted on the wall. And then I'm gonna have fabric storage and pattern storage here in custom drawers and one cupboard, I think which is also probably where I'm going to put my computer. And then I'm really not sure what I'm going to do on this wall. I wanted to do an accent wall, but the ceiling is going to have an accent, so I think it'll be too much. So maybe just some artwork, we'll see. And then this is going to be like a big, 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 long counter here and over here. And I'll have two sewing machines, serger, I think it's going to go in the corner, and then cover stitch. And I'm thinking a little bit of corner storage there just because it's going to be a deep cabinet or a deep um, counter and the corner might end up being useless. So we'll see. We'll see how I design it. And then, yeah, the cubby up there, I think we're going to put a shelf in just to kind of, because it's really, really big, like you'll see once I get standing up there how big it is. And then I'm thinking roll patterns here. Unless I end up folding them all, I'm not really sure. But that is our current door of the house, the original door of the house, and where it's not drywalled there, that's going to be open to the house. So it'll just be like an extension of the house in addition. It'll make more sense when that's out and the flooring is laid and stuff. But yeah, so this will be wall, full wall of doors here. And I'm going to have my cutting table there, which right now my plan is to make like a two feet deep by eight feet long table. And then it's going to hinge to be four feet by four feet, and then it'll fold out to be four feet by eight feet. If you guys can picture that, we're gonna build that. So yeah, so that's my sewing studio. Um, the dimensions, I believe, are like eight by 14-ish. And yeah, not a huge space, but I will make it functional. And then these are temporary steps. Obviously, we will have our real steps when we get the flooring done in here. We're doing like in-floor heat and tile, so we need to buy the in-floor heat and the tile and stuff. This is just the big wall. There's going to be a bench there and hooks. This is the closet. And that goes up to our garage. We have high ceilings in here. And this is all still part of the house. Like we're not there's not gonna be a wall, I mean a door here. Like this is all our house. So you come in, you're in the house. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it. <laughs> Nobody understands, but that's how it is. This is part of our house. We are essentially adding on a lot to our house, which I'm not happy about because I don't want to clean it all, but I'm happy to have a proper mudroom again because um, our old house had a really functional mudroom, and this one does not. And I'm excited to have my bedroom back. Like, that's my biggest excitement, you know, all of this. Yeah, so uh, let's get painting.
Hey guys, I kind of dropped the ball on filming more of the process, but there really was not much more after the flooring. I really just started bringing stuff in. And yep, it's already a mess. I've been in here about six days now. And this is what it looks like, real life. So thanks so much for catching up with me. The next video you see in this sewing room series will be uh, like the final reveal, which will be a while. So make sure you subscribe so you're notified when that happens. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.